foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect. Excuse me, that are scattered throughout the four winds of the earth unto the true servants, the prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine unto you. I say shalom. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All right. And this is a um, really this lesson really has to do with those people over there living in the land of Israel that call themselves, I'll say the so-called J. All right. They're, you know, lately they've been, you know, making a stir about this red heifer, which is in the scriptures. But apparently, you know, according to them or, or some of their beliefs or some of them believe that, you know, uh, once they sacrifice this red heifer, that that's going to initiate the coming of the, the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. But the title of this lesson is War unto you the desire of the day of the Lord. Why would you Edomites? All right. You, you so-called Jays over there. Why would you desire the day of the Lord? Because the day of the Lord is, is not going to be good for you people over there. Okay, will you rape, rob, and murder, and pillage the whole earth? All right, but you know, and 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 enslave the children of Israel. All right, the apple of the Most High's eye. All right, so if anything, you would be trying to do any and everything in your power not to have you know not not to have the Lord come back. Okay, but it ain't up to you. All right, you Edomites, you Amalekites. All right, you so-called Jays, you imposters living in the land. Y'all, hey, y'all on borrowed time right now. All right, so you can sacrifice all the red heifers you want, but the Lord is going to come and he's going to redeem his elect. All right, so let me, um, I got pulled up a few articles to try to explain this. It, say, it says, uh, this is a uh, article on um, the same thing, this red heifer that they're claiming is uh, some type of sacrifice. It says the, tech, the second temple, actually, it is Jew Jewish tradition that the red heifer sacrifice is a precursor to the coming of, of the Messiah. So, spoiler alert, he came already 2,000 years ago, and his name is, they say Jesus, but we know it's Yahweh Shai. But, yeah, they're not telling you he's coming back, okay? And, and I think at the end of the day, those so-called Jays over there, they don't even believe in the Messiah, okay? Um, so, that's going off. And, and the Messiah came, so we didn't have to sacrifice. So, we weren't held by the curse of the law, which was death, all right? We got, we got put to death Okay, we should be put to death, all right, by for breaking the laws, but we're under grace right now because Yahweh Shai came and he was that ultimate sacrifice for the whole nation. Okay. So um let me see, I think I had something else. It was a, a similar article. It says, um, yeah, I'll just give you a real quick rundown. September 2022, Israel acquired five perfectly red heifers from Texas, although one of them had been deemed unsuitable. The remaining four has now been groomed and protected with uh, meticulous care. All right, so they just this is nothing more than a, a, a wicked left hand sacrifice they're doing over there. All right, it says they are considered potential candidates for sacrificial rituals, which is to be conducted at a location overlooking the site where this ancient second temple uh, once stood. And they're talking about this is this uh, 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 you know sacrificing this red heifer is uh, uh, is going to initiate the um, the building of the third temple, but the third temple is not a physical temple, okay? The third temple is the elect, all right? We, we, we are the temple, the hopeful elect, okay, they, they, that that the Lord is building right now, all right? With, the, with Yahweh Shai, our Lord being the chief cornerstone, all right? Um, let me see where it says, um, yeah, the narrative, uh, this is at the bottom, the narrative takes a geopolitical turn as the proposed location for this third temple intersects with one of the most consist, most contested and sacred sites in the world, the Al Akasa Al Al Kesa Mosque, and the dome of the rock shrine rever revered by Muslim worldwide. Um, let me see. It's another. Um, It was something else. Something else in here. I wanted to uh, in this article. I wanted to bring out about you know they said it. Um, they spoke of the second coming of Yahweh Shai, um, but it don't matter, you know. But this is all left hand witchcraft. 
uh, um, you know, it's, it's, the, and the more they bring out this nonsense, it's showing you that there aren't the people, okay? They, they, and it's showing you their, their, their ignorance as it pertains to the scriptures and prophecy, okay? The Lord never said, oh, sacrifice a, a red heifer and, and, and that would initiate the second coming of the Lord or any of that, okay? The, the, these people over there are off, all right? And they're being exposed. They're exposing themselves, okay? Like I said, whoa, whoa, um, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. It's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be good for you, for, for them. It ain't going to be good for nobody except the elect. And the elect still got to go through, uh, um, you know, go through Jacob's trouble. This is Amos 18, excuse me, 18, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The day of the Lord, the day of the Lord is going to be darkness. Okay, meaning it's going to be a lot of judgment, a lot of death, all right, a lot of misery, a lot of suffering, okay? It says, what, to what end is it for you, all right? Hey, when our Lord Yahweh Shai come back, he ain't going, he is some Israelites over there, all right? Uh, I don't know, you know, who knows who, where the elect is scattered, but the elect is scattered all over it. It may be some Jakes over there that, that get delivered out of the land of Israel that are scattered amongst them heathens, all right? But the majority of the majority of them heathens over there in the Holy Land, that got to be destroyed completely, okay? That 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 place has to be, you know, completely engulfed with fire, all right? For all the wicked that wickedness that goes on in the Holy Land right now, okay? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand upon a wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even a even very dark and not, and excuse me, and no brightness in it, Okay? So the day of the Lord is, is, is in the previous verse I read in uh, the verse 19 is showing you that you're not going to be able to run from the Lord's judgment or wherever you think you can try to hide. All right. Uh, you're not going to be able to run for the judgment. All right. So the day of the Lord is not is is it's going to be the scripture says it's a terrible day of the Lord. All right. It's going to be a terrible for everyone. OK. Um, Let me grab this. Because the wicked, the wicked this is. The wicked is has nothing good coming to those people over there, okay? And I don't know, I Lord willing, this lesson don't get striked, but hey, the truth is the truth, okay? They're doing all this shit, all this left-hand witchcraft. Look at this. <laughs> They're doing all this left-hand witchcraft shit. Let me see. It says, uh, throughout history, humanity has harbored a persistent fascination with the notion of the end of the world, the fixation deeply ingrained in both religious beliefs and psychological tendencies, and they, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, by them doing this, it's, you know, the end of the world. And yeah, we're coming to an end, but this doesn't mean shit. Okay. Like I said, the sacrifice, Yahweh Shai was the ultimate sacrifice. All right. We, we you know, we're not to sacrifice anything anymore. So if, if we're sac if sacrificing a, a, a red heifers on an altar or whatever. So what what good was Yahweh Shai's sacrifice when he died for the nation? Okay. Let me see something. Okay, okay. Let me go back to the scripture. Psalm 50 and uh, verse 16. It says, But unto the wicked the Most High saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or what, sh what or thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction and cast my words behind thee? These scriptures, none of this, had, none of this, at the end of the day, none of these scriptures all right, the prophecies, the laws have nothing to do with you, Edomites. Okay, you took the book, all right, and you proclaimed to be the people and proclaimed, you know, you, you, you know, the Torah and the Tanakh and, you know, you, you know, mingled your wicked ass beliefs in, in the, tom, uh, the Talmud into, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, try to, I'll say try to mingle your, your wicked, perverse uh, uh, Talmud into the scriptures, but it don't mix. Did you have nothing? That you have nothing to do with the Bible, okay? Only, only prophetic thing. Yeah, you're you're in the Bible, okay? I don't get me wrong; they're the wicked in the Bible, but nothing good is coming for you people, okay? That's at that that at the point break period. Nothing is good coming from coming for the seed of Edom, okay? And mainly the heads, all right. But all all of Edom is gonna catch it. All right, if you don't catch it here on this side, you're definitely going to catch it in the kingdom of heaven. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 58 and 22. There is no peace, save the Lord, unto the wicked. Okay, 
There's going to be no peace to you, all right? You shouldn't desire the day of the Lord. You should try to hope, you know, this uh, 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 this goes on for 100 years. But we know it's not because we see the prophecies. We see the signs. We see things, you know, prophecy uh, uh, coming to pass. We see the MOTB. We see World War Three. So we're no, we, we know that we're at the end of this, all right? And these devils can, can, can do anything uh, uh, um, to, uh, uh, you know, try to prolong it, okay? And, you know, them bringing forth red heifers and sacrificing them, that's just that's just left-hand madness, all right? That this devil is, is, is really just trying to deceive. And he's probably really trying to conjure up left-hand uh, uh, powers and energy by doing that, all right? This is Proverbs 24 and uh, 20. For there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. All right, Esau's even in the last days where Esau's being revealed. All right, their 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 um their deceit, their deception that they've used to uh, uh um, rule the world in wickedness, it, it it's not working anymore. That their light, their candle, or right, that candle, that wicked candle, all right, that is, is being put out. All right, you this people don't people don't care about this shit. Y'all can sacrifice a hundred of these damn uh, uh red heifers. All right, it it, it, it you know. People are waking up to Esau's bullshit. Let me see. Is Spot or blemish. And the hooves also must be red. It must be a female. Heifers are female. It must never have been used for labor. It must never have been pregnant. And it must be between three to four years old. There's a point in here. In Judaism, this prophecy signals the coming of a time that includes the return of biblical laws of purity thus allowing for truly holy life. For evangelical Christians, it heralds the end of days. Yeah, so they're saying this, this is, uh, 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 you know, supposed to bring forth the end of days. We know we're in the end of days. Or why? Because the children of Israel, the true children of Israel, all right, Yashar all right, uh, uh, um, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the 12 tribes are coming back together and they're remembering themselves. All right, in the place of their captivities, that the Lord said in, in Baruch that they will remember themselves and we're remembering ourselves. It didn't take no damn sacrifice and no red heifer for us to do it. All right, it was the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that was put on men, all right, to teach and to prophesy to uh, in the Lord, you know, quicken them with his spirit to wake them up to this truth, to wake them up to their, their true heritage, to their true nationality. All right, let me play a little bit more. Return of Jesus to earth and the rapture. And the rapture, that's all, that's all, that's all bullshit. There ain't going to be no rapture. Everyone, even their elect, got to go through Jacob's trouble. All right, a time of trouble like there never was since there was a nation. All right, let me see. In Zionism and Christian lobbying on behalf of Israel. In September 2022, through a joint... Yeah, that's, that's the same thing that I read in here, that they got the, or whatever article it was, but, and, and, they, and they claim they're building the third temple. Okay, the third temple is it, it, the kingdom. Is what well, the scriptures say? The kingdom um, of the Most High is is within you. And I believe in Luke, uh, the seventeenth chapter. Let me grab this in John, um, John two and um, eighteen. They, an they answered, then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto thee, seeing that that seeing that thou doest these things? Yahweh Shai said unto them. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and sixty six forty and six years this temple was this this temple in building, and will thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body when he would when he would rise on three days, but we're in the third day also. Alright, this spiritual, because we're in the third day where Yahweh Shai is uh um well the the the, the we're the third day where the temple is being built, all right? Uh, so like, uh, when he, when, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which the Yahweh Shai had said, all right? So the third temple is being built right before your eyes, all right? So talking about the elect, the 144,000, okay? The governing body. That's the third temple. And of course, there's going to be a third temple in the kingdom of heaven. But the third temple really starts with the prophets, really starts with his men. All right. So, you know, those that's in the know, know that they see this stuff. They see this bullshit that Esau's pushing out about the uh, the red heifer and 
all of that. That's all witchcraft. That's all uh, uh, a left hand energy. All right. It's all deceit. It's all lies. All right. And the, the, the elect, the hopeful elect out there of waking up to Esau's bullshit. And you, you ain't going to, this is not going to work. All right. And really, the American people don't give a shit. All right, it, you know, they can scream anti this and anti that all they want. They can put, they try to use an anti SIM card, but it, everyone's waking up to the bullshit of Esau. And they're going to be revealed in these last days. And no red heifer or nothing's going to be able to save them. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, Shalom.